Good day to you and welcome to the program. Snowy and I want to tell you a story. And the story is found in John chapter 14 and verse 6. The master, my best friend, Snowy's creator, Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. And no one goes to the Father but by me. I want to make that very clear, folks. Jesus is the way. He is the truth and He is the life. You don't need anybody else, not Jesus plus some prophet or Jesus plus some way of life. No, Jesus, the man Jesus. He died for me and He died for you. He saved my life and He saved your life. I want to tell you folks, in this day and age, we need to be very careful. It's not Jesus plus some uh, holy man from wherever. No, it's Jesus. And anything more than Jesus is an idol in your life. Some of you are sitting there and you're saying, Angus, I'm trying to find meaning for my life. Jesus is the meaning. Jesus is the reason. He's the only one that died for your sins and my sins. No one else. No great preacher. No, 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 no famous man from anywhere. The Lord himself, Jesus Christ. He died for your sins. Okay. And the scripture that I want to leave with you, which is a beautiful scripture, apart from John 14, 6, which I've just told you about, is another scripture, and it, it's the whole Bible in one verse. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved this world, you and me, my dear friend, for God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son, He's got no other sons, only one son. That whosoever, that's you and me, we the whosoever, believes on him shall not die, but have everlasting life. That's it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 3 verse 16. That is the meaning of life. There is no other need. You don't have to go up, up to the Himalayas to go and find out the meaning of life. You don't have to go and live in the bush for 10 years to find out the meaning of life. It's very simple. Jesus said, I came to give you life abundantly. My dear friend, if you start to believe that today, you will find happiness in your life. You'll find peace in your life. You'll find a reason for living and you'll find success. Because with Jesus Christ, there's nothing which is impossible for you or for me. I want to encourage you to simplify your faith today. Keep your faith simple. Okay? Tell people about Jesus. And Jesus will do the rest. You see, the man I'm talking about is not a historical figure. I'm talking about a person who is alive and well today. He says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5. The Lord is with us. As I'm sharing this message with you in your room, okay, I want to tell you Jesus is with you because he said where two, that's you and me, or three are gathered together, there I am in the midst of them. So when, when, when we talk about Jesus, he draws all men unto himself. He says, if you lift me up, I will draw all men unto myself. My dear friend, you never need to be lonely. You never need to be afraid. You don't even have to strive. Some of you are trying too hard. Rest in God. He will give you your heart's desire if you delight yourself in Him. Psalm 37 verse 4. My life was transformed the day that I accepted Him as my Lord and Savior. Why don't you do that as well? Maybe straight after this program. Go and sit quietly and say, Lord, I repent of my sins. Please forgive me for questioning you. I have found the reason for living. His name is Jesus, and I'm going to be with you soon and very soon. Until next time, may the Lord bless you from Snowy and I. God bless you. Goodbye. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.